Quen 3 Max is just released and one of the most important thing about this model and the previous versions of Quen 3 is this model is significantly expensive than all of these previous variants of this model because Quen 3 Max costs $6 per million output tokens. On the other hand, Quen 3 235B model has similar kind of context window and it costs only $0.312 per million output tokens. So yeah, this new variant is far more expensive than the previous ones but this model apparently has major improvements in reasoning. It supports around 100 languages and also it is optimized for retrieval augmented generation which is RAG. So we are going to test this model for coding task inside Kilo code. So you can see here inside Kilo code I have just selected Quen3 Max and now I'll just give it a prompt to create an auto play chess game. This is our first task. We'll perform different coding tasks in this video. So let's just see how it performs this first one which is apparently the easiest task so far because a lot of cheaper models has actually performed this task in first attempt. So let's just see if it can actually create a simple HTML file and then and create this auto play chess game so let's just wait for it to finish this game okay, so it has already created this auto play dash chess dot html file and now it is just editing this file and creating this auto play chess game for us okay so it has just finished writing code and apparently it has just completed this task and this task in total costed 0.12 dollars okay let me just run this project let me just open my terminal and so i just run this project and now it is and now you can see this is what it has created and let me just click on this start auto play so now you can see the auto play is working King, and you can see from both sides it is making moves which is amazing so this was comparatively a simpler task now let's just try to create a 3d rubik's cube simulation so i'll just delete this file from here and now i am just providing it with this prompt so this prompt is to create a 3d rubik's cube simulation it should create an html and js project and it should use 3.js library so now let's just press enter and see if it can actually perform this task or not a lot of famous ai models out there have failed this particular task especially gpt5 has also failed this task so let's just see if quen3 max can actually create this task in first attempt right now you can see it has just created this rubik's dash cube dot html file and apparently it has just finished this task so now let's just run this project start or upiks dash cube html so this is what it has created it doesn't make any sense i think maybe it is unable to execute that 3gs code in here so there is an uncaught error it's a, this is a type error and it failed to resolve module specifier 3 okay so i think this is a 3gs library error so i'll just copy this error from here and now let me just go back let me just paste that error inside kilo code and then let's just see if quen 3 max can actually fix this error so now it is going to apparently edit this file and then fix this error and then we'll try it from this project again okay so apparently it has just fixed those errors so these are the two changings that it has just made let me just try to run this project again and yep again i think same error let's just maybe try to use a different browser so i've just opened this project inside firefox there is still same error and in fact if i just like see the console on firefox there is the same error so yeah i can again try to copy this error just give it one more try and see if it can actually fix this error and run this project for us so i can just paste that error again press enter and now let's just see if it can actually fix this error this is 3gs error actually so maybe quen3 max is not very well trained on 3gs by the way 3gs is a library it's an open source library maybe if you just like provide a link to this documentation and maybe it can fix that error then but for now apparently it has just fixed that error let me just run this project again and no it is same the same error error the error is different now it's a reference error initially it was a type error so now let's just try to copy this again paste that again yeah i mean let's just see that how good this model is at error handling but apparently so far it has just like disappointed us in this particular task i mean there are very few models out there that actually pass this test in first attempt and one of those were clot sonnet 4 so let's just see if this model can also pass this test or not let's just run this project again and same error okay let's just not waste our time anymore on this particular task i mean every time it is creating a different error so this right now is related to raycaster so again you can see it is trying to import this raycaster function from 3 so yeah no okay now maybe let's just try to create our landing page and see if it can create a landing page and how different design wise that landing page can be from any other like AI models out there so i'm just providing it this very detailed prompt it's a very detailed high quality prompt to create a landing page so let me just provide that prompt in here press enter 
and now let's just see if this AI model can actually create a high quality detailed landing page. First of all, it has just created this to-do list for itself. It is going to create an HTML structure for landing page. Then it is going to create a CSS file for styling, then create JS file for interactivity, then create image directory and add placeholder images, and then test and refine the landing page. So let's just see if it can actually, actually create this landing page for us or not. So as you can see, our prompt is very detailed. It contains all of these different sections. So hopefully it is going to take a little bit more time to create this landing page. So yeah, let's just wait for it. So in our project directory, you can see there is this index.html file. There is this script.js file and there is this style.css file. And then there is this directory where it has just created these placeholder images. So now let's just like see how long it is going to take. Now apparently it has just finished this task. So let's just try it on this project. Start index HTML, press enter. And now you can see this is what it has created. Nice. I mean, not very nice, but okay. Uh, so yeah, this AI model is good enough. It's not that impressive that I should like call it a cloud killer, but this AI model is just like good enough for like basic coding task. Also it costs $6 per million output tokens. So that's that's bad. It's good enough for basic coding task. And I think you can test it on more use cases before you take your own decision. So it's upgraded version of Quinty 235B instruct and thinking variants. But overall, it doesn't compete with Claude for Sonnet at all. Still, my all time favorite model for coding is Claude Sonnet 4 and Claude not Cloud Opus 4, but actually Cloud Sonnet 4. I just personally love both Cloud Sonnet 4 and 4.1. Just let me know in the comment section what you think about this new AI model. I see you next video.